Only two games remain in the 2017 regular season for high school football. In the Mid-Eastern Conference, you know Hoggard and New Hanover will be in the playoffs, but the other spots are up for grabs, and that makes our game of the week huge. Friday night in Wilmington, the West Brunswick Trojans take on the Laney Buccaneers in our fifth quarter game of the week. Both teams are 3-2 and two in conference, but Laney holds the slight edge in the Max Preps rankings, which will ultimately decide their fate on whether or not they get a spot in the playoffs. Laney and West both won their games last week in dominating fashion. These are two similar teams, both with similar goals in mind, coming into the final two weeks. Each coach knows this game is a must win. Well, I mean, we take that you know type of attitude with any game we play, you know, throughout the whole season. So, um, with that being said, then yes, sir. Uh, this week, next week, those are the only two guaranteed games that we have. So, we got to make sure again that we bring an IA game. It's it's very important. We got to have this one, and you know, and they do too. So, um, or hopefully we can, you know play a little bit better than we did last year and, and make it a make it a dog fight. Last year, Laney handed one of the two conference losses to West Brunswick. Tune in tomorrow night at 11 for the fifth quarter, and we'll see who gets the victory this season. Tonight, the Topsail Pirates began a new Halloween tradition, a game between the softball and baseball team, and it's all for a good cause. While the fall classic is happening between L.A. and Houston, the Pirates had some fun tonight in a scrimmage, and yes, those are Halloween costumes. The school created the Halloween game as a fundraiser for Share the Table, an organization based in Pender and Onslow counties that feeds more than 850 people per week. When you mix softball, baseball, and helping those in needs, you've got yourself a winner. Topsail Baseball head coach Aaron Reimer says the community supports the school. It's time the school helps in return. We can't do what we do without our community, and uh, the community is big here, and it's, they've, been, they've supported us for a long time, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know, we got some really good kids here that like to do things like this, and we'll continue to do things like this. It's estimated that more than $1,500 worth of food was donated tonight, and if you missed out on the game and want to join in on the cause, log on to our website, www.tv3.com, for more information on Share the Table. The Cleveland Indians are no longer playing for a chance of the World Series title, so the focus turns to building towards next year. They started their offseason by bringing in a familiar name to UNCW. Familiarity was something the tribe searched for when looking for a new pitching coach, and they found that in former UNCW pitcher Carl Big Train Willis. Willis comes from Boston to fill the coaching role after Mickey Calloway was named to be the next manager of the New York Mets. Big Train played for UNCW in the 80s and became the first Seahawk to win a World Series in 1991. Seven years later, he was inducted into the UNCW Athletics Hall of Fame. You know, that game we mentioned earlier tonight isn't the only big one happening tomorrow night. Football season is nearing its end, and you don't want to miss out on the fifth quarter. Joe Katz and I will see you tomorrow night right here on WWAY.